Thank you. Thank you very much. It's going to be a long afternoon. Uh, if there's an oxymoron in American life, it is humble television anchorman. And uh, I'm fully aware of that, but this is a, a humbling moment for me in so many ways. And I want to thank the Peabody Committee, especially for this great honor. I also want to make a couple of other observations. One is that if you live long enough, these kind of awards come to you and or you get cancer. <laughs> Turns out, my friends know that I go for the long run. I ended up doing both, and it's going to work out. Life is going to be okay because I'm in the... Uh, <laughs> I'm in the enviable position of being able to get the best treatment in the world, and it's made me much more conscious of what a privilege it is to have the kind of job that I've had and the visibility that I've had. And every day since I got involved in the profession of broadcast journalism and then later writing about it, I've thanked my lucky stars. It's the greatest life in the world, and when you saw the work that goes on there on that screen, realize what a compact we must have with the people who watch and turn to us for guidance about how to get through their lives. We're living through the most transformative time in the history of journalism. The reach, the speed, the communication, the consolidation. There are a lot of people out there who are simply malicious and they're aggregators, but the core work will continue to be done by all of us. And we must remember that. Uh, just a moment ago, you met Barbara Rabb, who pushed hard to get the poverty series on NBC News. I describe her as a pest. She is a lovable pest, and every news organization ought to have one. So I hope we'll all go forth from here and remember that it's not just about 140 characters. It's not just about where you're going to meet for coffee. It's about serving mankind with the information that they need to know to make good decisions about their lives. Thank you all very much.